Hey, Gary here. Inside of Kindle Direct Publishing Bookshelf, the print previewer, we have a quality check error. We're just gonna dive in and fix this error. Because the thing is, I see this all the time and people ask me, what is wrong? How do I fix this? Well, it gives you the information that you need here. Insufficient gutter. Books with 122 pages require at least 0.375 inches for the gutter inside margin. And then they actually link to where the issue is. And you simply just need to click on that page number. They're going to give you a triangle with an exclamation point, And you can see that this is outside of the margin or the gutter on the inside. Take a look at the outside. There's no issue with the page. The page on the outside of the book, the outside page or the left page of the book, if you're looking at it, holding it open or laying it flat on a table is fine. It's the inside. And if you look close, let's zoom in here. You can see it's just barely outside of the margin. Now, back to the error and in insufficient gutters, learn how to change the margins in your original file. Click on this link. It opens up the KDP help and it tells you about margins and gutters and how to fix these. It even has a video about positioning images with books for bleed. KDP and Amazon really truly give you all the information you need right here inside of the topics. To include a paperback and hardcover manuscript template option. Scroll through, read this, understand what it is, then you can actually choose a template. Download the blank templates by clicking this button. It downloads a file that you unzip with different languages. Here, of course, I'm working in English. And it actually gives you templates. Now, these templates are all in Word, so this may or may not help you. But if you were to open the 6x9 template doc, it gives you the template. It shows you with this text and these margins. Of course, if you're in Word, you can open up Word Preferences. Of course, I'm on a Mac. This is going to look different on Windows. Select View. Text boundaries is what this is called inside of Word. Close that. Then there's going to be a line here that's going to show you the boundaries. As you can see, you have more available space here or more space that you have to stay out of on the inside or the gutter. Of course, I'm working in Canva to create this. And if you scroll down, you're going to see this is where the issue is on this page right here. Canva does have rulers and guides as well as they have margins. Now their margins are not editable, but they do show you the way, probably over conservative, but it will work if you just move everything with inside of these margins. If you go back to the print previewer, those Canva margins will safely put you inside of this gutter or this margin and get rid of this error. Now, I personally like to use Tangent Templates and their KDP Helper. Select Paperback, select the size, 6x9. This is 122 pages. It is white. There is no bleed, and we select Continue. They're going to have the paperback cover. We are interested in the interior. It's going to give you the dimensions, and even better, it's going to give you a quick template as well as a precision template because the left side and the right side, if you're looking at the book, the left side and the right side, the gutter is going to be different because of the way that the spine takes up more space and the fact that the words on the left side and the words on the right side are basically flipped. Just like in Canva, you can go with the quick template and we'll download that. These margins are going to be conservative on both sides, but it's going to allow you to make sure that you don't have any errors in the print previewer. You can see the 6x9 PNG down here in the left-hand corner. We are simply just going to upload that into Canva. That'll upload, and when it does, you simply just click on it, and then you bring it out to the size of your page, and then you have the exact margins. Let me zoom in here and show you this. In the purple, you can see that it is spot on. Here you can see my this burn reminded me of, and my line is definitely inside of that margin on the interior page. So at this point, all we need to do is either decide on using the Canva margin, which again, you can see that dotted line ever so slightly, but you can also see that Amazon KDP is giving us much more room to play with. So go back to the print previewer, understand what it's telling you, 0.375 for the gutter on the inside margin, and at least 2.5 for the outside top and bottom margins. 
And after you determine which guide you want to follow, simply select everything on the page and then bring it down so it's inside of the margin that you want it to be inside of. And then reposition it, get it centered right there. And now you're inside of the margins. You can see the Canva margins, the dotted line. I'm still outside of those a little bit, but I'm definitely inside of the guide from Tangent Templates. So at this point, we'll just delete that. Then once we have our interior inside of our margins, where we want it, we simply just start duplicating the page. Then when you duplicate it, you get the number of pages that you want. In this case, 122. Go ahead, share, download, PDF print, and go ahead and download that interior or that manuscript. Go back to the KDP bookshelf, the print previewer, exit the print previewer, scroll back down under paperback content details to manuscript, upload the paperback manuscript. There is our manuscript that will upload save successful and now we've made changes so we'll go ahead and relaunch the print previewer of course this will have to save and it will have to calculate prepare the files that'll take a few seconds a few minutes takes as long as it takes so we'll wait on that and then once that is finished you'll see the quality check everything is good to go there are no issues and if we were to scroll through the print previewer you can see all the pages are now perfectly aligned and inside of the margin and the gutters. Go ahead, utilize the information that KDP is giving you inside of the print previewer. Just fix the problem. Get back to creating more books, doing more research. And to do that, check out this video for some more great ideas. Click that, watch that video. I look forward to seeing you inside that video and I'll talk to you later. Bye.